talked before about the value of the little touches that a filmmaker can add to a film, the little details that your more observant viewers will really appreciate. And this is one that I'm particularly happy with how it turned out. I wanted not just a candlestick sitting in the shot, but I wanted a candlestick that looked like it was really lit. So what I did is I found some rights-free stock footage created by Ivan Bridgewater. The stock footage was of a candle burning from beginning to end at relatively high speed. I took this footage and first of all, I cropped it so that only the candle flame was visible in the footage. And that required some keyframed movement for my little crop window to keep up with the candle flame as it goes down the candlestick. Then I chroma out the green background, which thankfully the stock footage had already put that in, and I position it in the shot. And the result is a flickering candle flame, something that would not have been possible within a pure machinima animation context. Not within the engine I was using anyway. But because it's a small enough use of this live action footage, there are no perceived blending problems as far as it fitting or something. It does fit, and the only people who know it doesn't fit are people who know the capabilities of the program I used. Now in the final shot of the film, the camera is actually moving with this candle in shot. That makes it a little bit more tricky, but it's not too bad once you get the hang of doing these kind of shots. Basically what's involved is keyframed movement, and sizing, or you could use 3D depth instead if you want to, the result is exactly the same. To keep that candle flame proportionate to the proper size of the candlestick, and also to make it appear that it does stay attached. This is very, very tedious work sometimes, because camera movements, even in animation, are not always a precise linear movement. So this does take quite a bit of fine tuning on those keyframes, very close together keyframes, to keep it on but it's so worth the effort. Here's what the final shots, all three of them, look like. Oh yeah, Toyota Tai! Hui!